can see it looks like it was made for it because it was. All right, I'm getting ready to get started in on making the uh, blower plate to bolt onto the intake and then the blower will bolt onto this plate. I uh, picked me up a piece of 13 by 19 inch 6061 aluminum. I got it from a place called Midwest Steel and Aluminum. If you want cheap prices, call them. If you want it right now, don't call them. It took me two weeks to get this. Didn't even send it out till a week after I ordered, so I was a little disappointed on that, which put me behind on where I wanted to be in my video. So hopefully today, which is Sunday, I can get the majority of this knocked out. Uh, first thing I need to do is get all the holes located on the intake, which I looked everywhere on the internet and could not find anybody that listed up the dimensions for a top plate on a Holly High Ram intake. So I ended up uh, measuring it out myself. I think I got it pretty close. I'm going to go slow and steady on this, check everything in between each drill hole, and uh, hopefully get it knocked out today, if not tomorrow. Uh, this is a piece of 5 8 inch thick aluminum. You could probably get by with a little less thick if you want to, but I always like to go a little bit uh, bigger to start with on this stuff, uh, just in case it's easier for me to machine more often than it is to add to it. So I'm going to start with this. It's going to take me a while to get this thing all uh, squared up in the middle here. Get it squared up and start drilling some holes. All right, got her all chucked up in the mill here. I'm going to make these holes blind, so I'm not going to go all the way through. Got all my measurements marked out here where I want them. Go ahead and attempt to start doing this and hope and pray I don't mess up. All right, I'm in the middle of getting this thing uh, drilled and tapped. I've got uh, the two front ones, the two back ones, and all one side. And then I'm going to have to readjust the mill because my uh, digital readout. When it goes too far, it goes into an error. So I've got a, I got another plate I'm going to stick on top. This one here, another holly plate. I uh, bought that at a swap meet. And I'm going to stick that on top after I get all these holes drilled and, or finished tapping them out. Right now I'm doing a bottoming tap on them. I drill them, tap them, then I use a bottoming tap uh, to get the full threads all the way down the hole. And then I'll put that plate on there, that top on there. And recenter everything and go from there. So making good headway into this thing about two hours so far. I got all the holes drilled out for the base of the the Holly High Ram. So my next step is to bolt it on the engine and figure up where exactly the blower needs to sit, and then drill and tap the blower bolt holes. There she is bolted on to the Holly High Ram. You can see there, I didn't put all the bolts in. Got a few of them in just to set it on there so I can mark where the blower needs to go. So my next step is set the blower on there and square the pulleys up with that. I got the blower all measured out. Unfortunately I'm having a hard time getting everything to reach right on the mill without setting it up for almost every hole. I don't know if the intake since it's cast is maybe twisted a hair but if I were to put all the holes straight in line on the blower it would be slightly twisted. Granted it would only be like three hundredths but uh, so what I did was I drilled the first hole in the last hole over here and tapped it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and center punch every one of these holes and just line the mill up on that mark and drill it. Uh, even with the studs in there the blower is still slightly movable because the holes are a little bigger than the studs. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to try and finish this up. I'm also going to tell you uh, when you put a blower on an engine like this you need to use aluminum studs they're kind of expensive, but blowers are more expensive. When you uh, backfire a motor, hopefully it all goes out the burst panel, which I have yet to make. But if it doesn't, if you have too much back pressure, it'll blow the blower apart. And you need it to blow the blower off the plate. That's why they make them out of aluminum. And uh, I will have a blower restraint running across the top of this too. But it's still required to run aluminum blower studs even if you have a burst panel or one of them spring reset devices, which I don't really like. But I was going to show you how I line this up here. I took this uh, rectangle uh, aluminum tubing here. Kind of hard to do it with one hand. Mount it up flush up against there, and then it's flush up against up here, if you can see it. So I got my alignment right. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll come back out here and get this knocked out and uh, then I can start trimming the excess plate off. All right, it's Monday. Gonna try to come out here and uh, get all these bolt holes done. Just gonna show you one way you can transfer uh, uh, bolt hole measurements. 
Uh, you can get these transfer punches at uh, Harbor Freight, which is what I'm using here. They have a little uh, point on the end of them. And you find the one that fits perfectly in your hole. That hole must be a little wallered out. Find the one that fits in your hole. Stick it in there. Try and do this with another hand. And then just give it a good whack. Right there, I'll transfer your mark over. Probably can't see, but down there, a little indentation. So I'll do that to the rest of these and take it over and drill and tap them. I've got all the studs in. Everything fits. I did start profiling the side of this a little bit while I had it chucked up in the mill so I can get some straight edges on it. Uh, blowers are cast though, so they're not exactly perfectly straight, but uh, it's close enough for my likings. And I cut the bottom of it out. I'll show you that. All right, there's the bottom all cut out. So we should be good on that. As you can see, like I said, I used a 5 8 plate. And those studs just stick out of here. So if you go with a half inch, the studs are going to stick out a little more. Just FYI. And I marked down there where the intake is going to be so I can cut out around that. And just uh, profile this thing just a little bit better so it doesn't look like a square hunk of aluminum bolted on a Holly High Ram. So... Hopefully tomorrow I can get that a little more profiled and uh, we'll call the plate done. I finished roughing this thing in on the bandsaw. Got some my cuts done there and I'm going to kind of get these corners rounded with the mill. Get a straight edge here. Get all these corners uh, done right. And then I'll have to follow it up with a belt sander and a combination of a die grinder. So uh, I'm going to get all these uh, rounded edges right here taken care of in the mill. Get that flat spot taken care of. And then uh, move on to getting the done. You're going to have to do the rest of it by hand. I just uh, used the mill to get all the corners there around the uh, bolt holes. Around there you can see. And then I machined the whole front of it off so it's nice and flat. So what I have left to do is uh, finish rounding those ends off there around the bolt holes. I have to do all that by hand because I don't have the proper equipment to do it on the mill. But anyways, it's coming out really, really nice. Um, this is a piece I thought would be really, really easy, but it turned out to be pretty hard. So I'm happy the way it, it's turning out. Now that there's the top side, that'll be what you see on the top. So it's profiled out to look like something now. So hopefully one more evening and I can call this thing done. I finished profiling out the blower plate. Got her all done there. I'll probably polish it up a little bit later before final assembly, but for now, it's going to stay like that. Came out real good. Real happy with it. You can see it looks like it was made for it because it was. Well, sorry for getting this video out so late. My goal was once a week, but uh, unfortunately it took forever to get this plate in, and I didn't have any other uh, parts in either to make anything else for this thing. So uh, this was a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. My, one of my main problems was I couldn't find any uh, dimensional drawings of, a, of the bottom of the blower or the uh, Holly High Ram. I'm sure I could have asked someone, but I'm not the type of guy that likes to go around asking people for help if I can measure it out myself and take the time. So I got everything measured out or used uh, those, like those centering punches. Those worked real good for this. And uh, I'm real happy with the way it came out. thing keeps growing a little bit every time I put a part on it, but it should be done growing now other than whenever I put over the top of the uh, uh, throttle bodies. All right, next week I'm hoping to get the injectors put in the top here. Uh, I bought a special drill bit here made just for uh, drilling out injector holes. It has all the steps built into it, so I don't have to use multiple drill bits. This drill bit was very expensive. So hopefully this isn't the only time I use it. And then I bought some uh, raw fuel rail dash six this time. So uh, we'll put it up here, get some holes drilled in it, and get my injectors ran up there. And I'll run the factory holly set up down here. And then uh, I'll have an idler pulley that I need to get on here somewhere to tension the belt up for the uh, blower. Anyways, that's going to do it for this week. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like and subscribe.